I'm at Ottawa Wildlife Refuge and I'm over the area out. I just come out all the time. Um, just for something going in the water. Um, I'm kind of looking around to see what I can see. Uh, I'll do a little video and then I'll put them in the destination. So, of course, these are all we need. I just see a miniature bald eagle, which I've been kind of low on eagles this whole weekend. Yeah, probably they're doing what they gotta do. And, um, so, let's look around and see what we can see. Always. Should just never know. We got a tent set up over here. And there's a heron or an egret. I can hear it way over there. That was an egret. I wonder who lives in this house now. I'm looking for possibly private residents do not enter. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> do not enter there. So you can be down here. Oh my god. How's all that? Looks like paint. Looks like some kind of paint that they were painting this very, very, very poor um, paint job. What the hell they do? Dump it in the water? Look at all that, that little paint. They didn't do a very good job. Apparently they think they can. I don't know. Yeah, the water they're gonna contaminate that water. nice to have a house right here and just come I, could, I would sit out here all the time I seriously would I would sit out here all the time all right I would sit out here all the time duck way over there or a heron I would I would walk a little ways and sit down walk a little ways sit down how I take my damn car so I would go over here Hell with it. <laughs> There's ways of getting around stuff. I would just kind of be easier and I would it'd just be awesome. I'd probably ride my bike and two. See, there's the private residence. But, um, there was nobody. That was, this is the old um, visitor center. And then it used to be, and it was empty for quite a while. Then they had somebody living there. Then nobody was living there, and apparently somebody was living there. And they had a big old huge festival. Or a little festival, because they have the tent over here. And you're out here tenting. There's no cars here. It's a bike. Like it's a it's a camp a tent. A camp it's a tent. These people said they almost stepped on the snake. I'm like, damn it. I never see I mean I do, but it hasn't been a long time since I've I've actually seen something like that. I seen a snake. Last time it was a little tiny one. It was a water snake. I wasn't able to grab it. That's that's the estuary trail that was on earlier. That's there. 
and this trail over here is for um, Iowa. This is what divides them. This is the water. There used to be a beaver stand over here. There's people from here took it down. So they build a couple others that way. If I would have brought my bike, I would have been bike riding up there. I don't know, the sky is ominous. It's nice, well, it's kind of icky over there too. It's, it's just icky all over the place. <laughs> just icky. Icky, icky, icky. Let me go over here and see if I can find a snake. Sometimes I can. <clears throat> Tomorrow's Monday, back to work. Ugh. I tell you, if I lived out in some place like this, I would have never want to go to work. <laughs> but I would go to work so I could pay for it, so I could relax. Come back and just beat out. Actually, if I work second like I do now, I actually wouldn't be working where I'm at now because it's too far from here. Oh, okay, see, there's a, for a, oh, I already put one up there. Um, I definitely, absolutely would be, um, walking around at night, probably not too much, because I'd have to work in the, the next day, but I wouldn't be out here all the time on the weekend. People probably wouldn't be able to see me or hear from me. I might be out here. I'm out here a lot now anyways. Can you imagine if I lived out in some place like this? Yeah, I always be out. Huh. Alright everybody, peace out.